So yeah, this is the original Keep Calm. V1, if you want to call it, I guess. The first time I saw it, it came in a little package from Headline Tees, Chris Gorog, like basically hand stitched this prototype shirt together. And Leo and I like got around, and like this, this is the Keep Calm thing. And we opened it up and at the time it was like this bright green and it's like Keep Calm and Jive On. We both kind of looked at each other and like, and man, this could be something. We actually took turns wearing it because at the time that my brother could still fit into a medium, but then he had a kid and that goes out the tube, you know? He's not even fat. I didn't call my brother fat. We shouldn't put that in there because he's not fat. I've gained weight too. God, look at me back then. <laughs> List of people who wore it were like myself and Leo shared it for a while. Bob wore it, Mac, uh, Asa wore it. Asa wore it, Asa, Asa. Asa basically would borrow it like every weekend. This guy and I have been through pretty much everything together. I haven't worn it now in a year because I'm a little afraid that I'll lose it and it's so valuable to me, I don't want that to happen. People at the office actually will say that I lose everything. And I honestly, I don't think that that's true at all. That man loses everything. He's lost countless shirts on photo shoots. He's lost his car. He lost a shoe, one shoe. How you lose one shoe, I don't know. Yeah, I have a ton of Keep Calms now, and it, the second you open the drawer, you can see that shirt right away. I've worn it so many times, it's so faded now. The shirt's in surprisingly good shape, considering you know what it's been through. There's a nearly imperceptible barbecue stain, uh, a slightly distressed neckline from where Mac wore it once, and some Dorito dust. Uh, it, that's what gives it character. It's, it's changed since a little bit. It doesn't have like the gold foil tag. It's got the old label on it. This one has a C for example, and like you can see this one doesn't. No, I went to an event in San Antonio and I met up with Marcus Luttrell and his wife, Melanie. They were telling me this story about their friend, Caleb, who has two kids, his wife's pregnant, and they just bought a house and then he found out he had stage four cancer. It seems unfair. Oh, and he's active duty military. I was thinking that we could, what could we do to really raise some fast cash to help with his mortgage while he's getting treatment. But yeah, then I remember the shirt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna auction it off. This is, I'm not kidding, my most special thing. So I'll probably be like bidding on it myself to try to get it back. It's for a good cause and I think it's a great way to raise some money for someone who needs it. This shirt is so thin and like comfortable. It's like, it's like prosciutto, <laughs> but you shouldn't eat it. Please don't eat this shirt. <laughs> <laughs>